Hi there everyone. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can take uh, tape images uh, or dot tap images from websites such as tapes.c64.no tapes um, which is a site which can give you tap files for all kinds of Commodore 64 games. Um, yeah, there aren't all of them on there, but there are lots of them, and um, they're all... Anyway, I'll show you how to do this. What you can do is, by these titles, you, they're, they're uh, hyperlinks, so you can go ahead and click on them, and you can download things, uh, download the actual tap files, and then once you have the tap file, it's a zip file at first, so you need to unzip it, and then you can get this um, program called AudioTap if you run a PC. I don't know how you can do this for Mac. If somebody wants to tell me uh, in the comment or something, I will put it up in the uh, description. I don't own a Mac personally, but I'm sure there's a way you can do it somehow. But um, anyway, you use this program, and uh, what you need to do is, I've got kind of a goofy setup here, but down here I have a audio RCA cable going out and up into this tape recorder here. This is just a plain stereo tape recorder. Um, and I need a blank tape. It's best if it's blank. It's easiest to um, uh, work with programs if they're going to be blank on a tape like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick the tape inside there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and just get it ready to start recording. What I can do is, since I like this tape recorder because it's easy to see when it um, gets off of the leader to the actual tape. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, there. That's the tape. And I've already adjusted um, input levels for this that would work best with this. So, on audio tap, I'm going to convert from a tap file. Here, let, me, let me zoom in better. Convert from a tap file to a sound, not to a WAV file, because that will just save it back in your hard drive differently. And um, then you're going to press OK. Uh, there. Then it's going to, um, I, I already have it set to the tap files that I've already downloaded. Here's Dig Dug, here's Ghostbusters, and Nebulous. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll just do Dig Dug here. Let's just select Dig Dug. Just click it once so you can queue everything up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press pause to release it and start recording again. Then I'm going to press enter to, to select that file. And then, so pause, enter. Right now, it's making a whole bunch of noise that, that the Commodore can understand and then write into its RAM as a program. You can probably really a little bit hear it. Maybe not. There. It sounds kind of like dial-up, but anyway, here. Here are the decibel meters. It takes a long time, even though it's such a small file, and it's such a simple game. Doo -doo. Okay, so the tape is finished recording. I'm going to eject it. Love that tape recorder. Anyway, so our tape's finished. Actually, first I'm going to wind it. Rewind. Ah, stop. Oh, I should have set that. Anyway, that's done. Power off. I can make my computer go to sleep. Sleep for now. And we will go downstairs and plug into the Commodore. Okay, so now we have our Commodore 64, our data set, and our joystick or Sega controller or any DV9 connector, and our TV. And they're all hooked up. So the TV is going to warm up here. So already, channel 3, we're going to turn on our Commodore 64, and boop, it's ready. Just, here, let me zoom in, and then you can see all that. So I've inserted the tape, which we just made, into the data set on the right side, and then we're going to type in 
L O A D. And then that spells load if you don't know how to speak speed or read English. Well, I obviously know how to do neither because it just said speed or read. Speak or read English. Um, you're going to press enter and it's going to ask you to pl press play on the tape or data set. And we're going to do just that. Let me make sure I reset it. Play. Now the screen will go blank. And we're going to wait for about 10 years. And here's a load screen. Notice that the tape is still spinning. It's continuing to load. It's kind of hard to see there, but it is spinning. And, and on the screen now, it's kind of hard to read, but right underneath where it says Dig Dug, it says Blocks to Go, 38, 37, 36, 35. It's, it's just telling you that it's actually loading and it's working. So... Something to keep you preoccupied while you're cursing the data set for being so slow. Zero. Alright, now it should start up here. Oh, yeah, so it's been glitching out recently. I don't know, I think it's just the file might be corrupted or something, but anyway, the, the way you're supposed to start it is um, this screen, which I'm assuming is the startup screen, you can press the little joystick fire button thing, and then you can see the, there's a little bit of a uh, animation here. Oh, that guy's not, I'm about to die. Yeah, I just died. But anyway, it should be working properly. It's not. I think it's just probably the tape or the uh, or the program that's on the website. But anyway, that's basically how you do it. I'm so tired of that right now. Anyway, that's it. So um, thanks for watching. Good luck. Hope you have better luck than I do. Try different. Try different programs on that website. Hopefully, it'll work better than this one. Thanks for watching.